back on the move after stopping at the cove we're gonna pay just an extortionate sum for resupply four days ish i don't think it'll be that far but you know, whatever sometimes you're just hungry you know on top of what those ladies gave me at the horse camp which i'll devour tonight we uh hung out for like an hour or two i was planning on spending like four hours there and just like swimming or something but nibbles got itchy and headed up we were told there was a bunch of day hikers at that lake we were at rosary lake which ended up being true but if anything i was kind of hoping we could yogi some like burgers or something off of them but i hung out for another hour just you know charging my phone and putzing around had a some oregon beer there that was delicious had a good conversation with a dude named coco and then uh packed up and hit the road but it was only another five miles out of there, so it was another chill day. Borderline easy day. And I got to camp around not even four. We, he packed out some, some wine, I packed out two beers, and we just had a fire, just chilled out at our campsite by this beautiful crystal clear lake, having our fire and drinking our, our grape juice and sodas. This huge burn area, I had lunch at an awesome lake back there. For the last couple of miles we've been in this giant burn area. I love, I don't know if you can see it, up there on that mountain. Tiny little bit of trees, still persevering up in that little divot. <laughs> but it's looking like on the other side up here, we might be approaching a view. First real view in a while. doesn't love emerging from the woods and seeing just a nice flat. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Back out here. I dropped off like an hour or two ago. Had a great stay. Got to play with that dog, Root. He was awesome. You can see some rains over there, over there. place was getting dumped on when I was on the drive up here. It's already dried out now. I may still pitch my tarp tonight, but I mean, look at all that burn. Finding some decent hammock trees was starting to worry me, but it looks like up over this ledge behind me. I think I found it. This guy to that guy. Make that my head end. Nice soft ground here. Got a good canopy. This will be my seat looking out that way towards the, not much of a view, but hey, I like it. And it's mine. All right, got the Blackbird all set up. I'm still kind of full from town, so I'm like, I guess we'll get a small dinner and maybe munch on some snacks or something. I guess it's a, a single ramen packet kind of night instead of a doubler. So when I was in town, I got some new gear. Little things like chapstick and, and that sort of stuff. But I also got some new socks, some darn tufts to replace those smart wools that are just falling apart. Won't call them pieces of crap. I love them for jogs and stuff back home or wearing to work. But definitely not for something like a through hike. I don't know, what do you think? What are my odds of getting rained out? It's definitely, you can see, damn you phone, out there right boop to the right a little bit i can see the rain coming down it definitely seems like it's coming this way slowly i don't know i'm gonna make that call in like an hour after i've eaten and luxuriated i was really trying to link up with nibbles coming out of bend but uh i do have to say i know i'll catch him by portland but i have to say it is kind of nice to solo camp I've kind of missed the social experience of like that I had on the AT out here, but at the same time, like being on your own and solo camping, I don't know why. It's just kind of nice. It just feels more nice. And tonight, ooh, big treat, a new flavor, lime chili shrimp. <laughs> it's 
It's starting to rain. What do we got around here? Hey -o. Gnarly. That's pretty cool. It's nice to hike in the rain sometimes. It doesn't feel too freezing right now. It's kinda it's good. You know it's gonna get sunny later, you know you're gonna dry off, warm up. It's good. I've always liked the rain. It's just when you, you know, live in it. It's a little less ooh. A little less enticing, but it lets you know you're alive. <laughs> Change my mind. Got a nice rainbow out there. I hope you can see it. Right in that little grassy patch. It's time to start prospecting. Whoa. This is the way we're going, of course. <laughs> all that rain, or all that rain, will dissipate by the time we get up there. Or maybe we're going right through there, huh? <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly to have that mountain view all morning. Tonight, if I can make it 29 to 30. Speaking of snow covered, what's that white stuff, huh? Boosh. Weird. Hey, what's happening? All you gotta do is hop off the trail. There you go. Hey. What's up? Me too. It's pretty gnarly. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna get lucky with the rain. But man. Every once in a while the clouds totally clear and you can see for miles and check this out. As we turn the corner, see if we can get a good view. Jefferson. Jefferson. Lots of water down there too. Mm. Got some clouds over the big guy. The rest doesn't look too bad. I've said this like three times today, I think we're not gonna get rained on tonight. But every time I've said it, I've been rained on within 20 minutes. So we're probably gonna get rained on tonight. I was gonna camp after the top of the last mountain. Man, that's cool. Look at these colors. It's gonna it's top of the top of that last mountain, but I don't know. It was like 6:30. Saw that there was a campsite like four and a half miles ahead. I'm like, oh, I hate setting up at night. I like to get there and relax. It was all downhill, and I just started pushing. And I'm pretty sure I just did a four-mile hour, which you know hurts. <laughs> Another cold one. The zipper on my puffy's totally done. That thing, uh, it's never really been as warm as I'd want it to be. It's a great jacket all around, which is why I've kept it so long and I love the fit of it. But it's got a bunch of holes. It's not as durable as I'd like. I've been taping the crap out of the thing. And I knew it wasn't gonna be warm enough for the cold like mornings and nights in Washington. So I already have like my old down puffy coming my way. Most of the day it looks really flat. I think I have like a 16 mile stretch from the top of this hill towards the beginning of the next. And then over that hill, I think there's a nice campsite by a road with a privy, maybe some water or trail magic if I'm lucky. Or if I get there early enough, I could hitch to, this blows my mind that there's an actual town called this. It's called Government Camp. I get people call it Govy. Uh, I thought it would be some really weird actual camp, but apparently it's a ski town. <laughs> Lots of like bars and restaurants and like hostels and stuff. So if I get there before six, I might try to hitch in, have myself a good dinner, or maybe a few beers or maybe even a shower or something. I'm not sure yet. It might be better just to stay wherever I camp or maybe even push a few miles further 
And that way I can wake up early and do a grueling 2,000 footer just to get the Timberline Lodge as early as I can. Get that sweet, sweet breakfast buffet. Been hearing songs of this buffet sung for for like a month now. What's something called Little Crater Lake? It's like a little stream I've heard that's really deep and clear. I'm in a hurry to get to that road. So I was gonna bypass it, but I was chatting with a couple back there. They're like, you have to stop and see it. And I was like, nah. Oh, it's only, it's less than a quarter mile off trail, like a four minute walk. All right. My conscience is clear. I'll go check it out. Whoa. The water was so clear, I almost walked into it. At one point, walking along the edge, I was looking at the the line where it like uh, dips down really, really steeply. Yes, once submerged, I mean, I was looking at that as if that was the water's edge, and for, didn't even realize that the water was like another five feet up. I almost walked right into it. It was so crystal clear. Just walking along. Poof. I think it's Mount Hood, I guess. On this little lady. Hmm. Left her down there. Hope she'll bring me the luck of a quick hitch in the gubby. If not me, maybe someone behind me will get like a cooler or a soda or something up here. Couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> 